Hi right, guys. So I gotta tell you, I'm pretty giddy right now. So I had this idea for a stock market project, but basically to complete it, I need a list of all the public companies on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So of course I went to Google Finance and I went to Yahoo Finance, but I came up empty. So I just so all of a sudden I thought, well maybe I should try the NASDAQ. And boom. Basically I found everything I needed. So today I want to show you how to pull public company from both the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange using PHP. Alright, so check this out. If you go to NASDAQ.com and top navigation is under company list and there you'll see links for the NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange I think this is American Stock Exchange which I don't think I own anything on there but anyway so you can just basically right click copy the link what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy it over real quick Save that and go right back and get the New York Stock Exchange. Bring that back. Alright. So let's start coding it out. And see, we, we, we've done something like this before. Um, previously, uh, when we basically downloaded, I think it was the historical stock data from Google Finance. So we can just do something similar to that again. I'm going to use this return val and our trusty file gets well, get contents. And do NASDAQ first. Okay. Honestly, I think we can print this out now, but my overall goal is to get into position that we can place into a database. All right, so here's the data. But as you can see, it's not in a position where we can use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explode it, and it's this new function that I discovered. Well, I didn't discover it. New function to me that I'm going to show you guys. All right, so let's just explode. I'm gonna explode by new line. And this should give us an array of rows. For each to circle through here. Was it the new thing, the new function? Again, it's not new, but new to me. It's the string get, and there we go, right there. Oh, man, we gotta love IDEs. And see what this string gets uh, CSV function does. It basically looks like looks at a. Oh, I can't explain this. It converts your CVS converts a CVS, a CVS string into an array. So what we're talking about is basically the CVS string. It'll convert that into an array. Correction. All right, so <laughs> I'm loving this. And let's print this out and run it. Alright, see how we look now. Hit refresh. Boom. And that's our NASDAQ information. So I can scroll down to the bottom. And here's our data. 
Okay. So you can basically with confidence say, hey, there's 3,181 companies listing on the NASDAQ. Yeah, Zynga. I used to own that. I ain't do pretty good. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's change this out from NASDAQ to the new extract exchange. Right here, let's make a new tab and go home. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving, loving this. So, how many we have here? Okay, so we got 3156, 3056, but you know, we're in an array, and I think that what the first one is zero, so it's about 3155. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I personally think that's pretty awesome. So, me, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna slam it into a database and keep it pushing. Um, okay, guys. Well, thank you. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.